What's going on, everybody? In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about child view controllers. And this topic was voted on by my Patreon community. If you want to vote for the next topics of my tutorials, check out patreon.com slash Sean Allen. But let's talk about child view controllers and when to use them, why to use them, that kind of thing. So it's best to start with an example. The example you're going to see here is this chart in the Aluna app. It's a real life example, real app I'm working on. Uh, you can see this chart, you know, anytime you've created a chart, there's some complex code. So uh, you see, I use this chart here on the bottom slide up card, but I also use the same chart in the profile history screen uh, to show, you know, the user's history. So Instead of having that code in two places, I have a chart view controller that uh, is just a child view controller in those two screens. So that's a real life example on like when to use them. So what we're gonna talk about in this video is how to do that. Let's go. And as always, before we dive in, let's take a look at the starter project. It's gonna be quick, there ain't much here. Uh, so we have our main storyboard, nothing. Oh, and by the way, we are gonna do this uh, on storyboard and programmatically. So I'm gonna take care of both audiences. You're gonna see how to do it both ways because uh, it's relatively quick each way. Uh, so I have a main storyboard with nothing on it. I have my view controller, which is that main storyboard, nothing. I have the first child view controller, which we're gonna do via storyboard and the second child view controller, which we're gonna do via code. So that's the start. So we'll take a look at doing this via storyboard first. So let's go to the storyboard. Uh, what we wanna do in the view of the storyboard, uh, hit Command Shift L, the shortcut here, uh, and we're gonna put and bring in a container view. Uh, that's what we want here, this container view. So let's go ahead and drag that onto there. Computer's made a hiccup there. So let's use the uh, usual constraints here. We'll kind of pin this, we'll do uh, 20 from the top, 20 from the left, 20 from the right, uh, and then height of 200 and then add those four constraints so there you go it's constrained now you'll notice well you may not have noticed because it's at the bottom when i added this container view it automatically added a segue to uh this view controller right there now this is a segue and this segue works similar to the other segues in the storyboard so as you know when you're dealing with segues and you want to identify them in your code you got to name them so let's go ahead and name the identifier let's call this two uh first child sure and then also because this is going to be the first child VC, let's click on that, go to the identity inspector, and it is of class uh, first child VC. And if you're not familiar with that, that is this, this file right here on the left, the first child view controller, right? So we have to tell storyboard, hey, this is an instance of first child VC. So now that we got that set up, let's try something real quick. So in first child VC, I can do, you know, view dot background color equals dot red sure uh so this should work to where you're going to see a red circle here and again this is just the super basics we're going to build on this in a little bit cool so there's my child view controller uh in the container view and the background color is red so i set the background color there in uh just the view to load of the view of uh, the child view controller now uh, you may need to pass data to the child view controller. That's actually very common. So I don't want to just use that example. Let's talk about how you would pass data uh, using the storyboard to this child view controller from your, your home view controller, if you, if you will. So that's through this segue. And it's basically the same thing as passing data through any other segue. But we'll go ahead and do that real quick. So in our view controller, let's go ahead and open up the function uh, prepare for segue, get the autocomplete if segue.identifier, and this is what we named that segue, if you remember, uh, equals equals, and what did we name it? Uh, I always go back to the storyboard just to double check. Uh, so the segue, we named it to first child. So I always copy and paste this just to be sure, don't wanna retype it. Um, so in the, I'm sorry, in the view controller, if segue.identifier equals equals that, then we're gonna do this. And to be honest with you, if you only have one segue on your storyboard, you don't need to have this identifier. I just get in the habit of it because like sometimes, you know, right now you may only have one segue, but in the future you add another one. So I always like to do this. And then again, we always talk about best practices here on the channel. So we don't want stringly type stuff. So let's go and create our enum real quick of uh, segues and static let. We talked about the static keyword in a uh, recent video. So check that out if you want. Static let uh, to first child equal and then it is going to equal this string so we'll cut paste and then we'll go ahead and use our enum down here uh, equals equals segues dot to first child so there you go no no stringly type stuff for typos there so if that uh, is the case we want to set our destination view controller which is, is going to be our child view controller and this is the same as using segues anywhere else this isn't anything special uh it's just the segue goes to the child view controller that happens right during the initialization of this view controller not you know when you press a button to trigger a segue um so let uh dest this is what i always call my destination vcs dest vc equals uh, segue dot destination uh, as and it is a first 
child VC. And we cast it as a first child VC so that I get access to the properties on that. Uh, and that's if we have like custom properties. To be honest with you, I may not have to do that um, if I'm, I don't have any custom properties on there because I'm just going to do uh, view dot uh, background color uh, equals dot We'll do dot blue now just to prove that I passed this data. So the reason I'm going through this uh, example here is like if you had to pass other data to the child VC, you know, whether that was like a user object or an array or some other some other object, right? Oh, my code's messed up. I was like, why is he yelling at me? So it's not I have to do dest VC dot view. There we go. That's what that's what needs to happen. So now if I hit play, we're going to run this. We should see the blue background, right? Because we passed the color to blue. And again, the background colors, you know, whatever it's any data you need to pass. That's how you would pass it to this child view controller. And that's it for for the storyboard version, right? If all you were here for was the how to do it in storyboard. There you go. We're done. But if you want to know how to do it in code, uh, stick around. That's what we're going to dive into now. All right. So to do this via code, the first thing I'm going to need is an instance of a child view controller. So uh, let's do let uh, second child VC uh, equal uh, an instance of second child VC. And all this is, is this uh, second child VC file here. You see right here, again, there's nothing in there. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing. I'm going to initialize it here. Uh, or I'm sorry, do the background color here just to show you, uh, you know, how, that it works. And then we'll do the same thing with passing data uh, as well, just like we did, just in code. So, uh, so now in the view controller, I set it as green. And now we're going to go ahead and do this in code. So I have uh, second child VC here. And let's create a function for this. Again, I like to compartmentalize everything. Function uh, add second child VC. And the first thing we need to do here is add child. That's what we're doing. Uh, so you see the child controller is the parameter. And that is going to be second child VC, the one we created up here on line 13. And then now we need to add the view. So view dot add sub view. And we're going to add the second child VCs view, right? Every view controller has that main view. So second child VC dot view. So that is the view we're adding to the sub view. So now that we've added our second child view controller programmatically, uh, let's go ahead and constrain it. So I'll create that real quick uh, function. Again, I just like to compartmentalize my code here. Uh, set second child VC constraints. And then I do have a snippet here because I want to save time. You don't want to see me do constraints. Uh, I have videos about doing programmatic constraints. So cool. We have uh, the constraints for the view set up. We've added it to the view. So you have to add it to the view, then set the constraints. Now we need to let the child view that it has been moved to the parent view. So second child VC dot did move uh, to the parents and the parent is going to be self. So self is, you know, this, this view controller. Uh, and then we're going to call our constraint setup here. So now we're going to set uh, second child VC constraints. So what we just did there is the basically the same thing as putting it on the view controller in storyboard and connecting the segue. And then we got to call this add second child VC function in view to load, add second child VC. And then now if we run this, uh, we should see the green square at the bottom, just like we do the blue square at the top. Cool. The last piece of the puzzle here is how do you pass data? Just like we pass data through the segue, well, if you're doing things programmatically, like segues aren't a thing. So how do you pass data uh, to change this background color? So we're going to change it from green to yellow. It's, I don't know, I'm just yanking colors out of my ass here. Uh, so here you just, because we have a, a instance of second child VC, we can just do second child VC dot view dot background color uh, equals dot yellow. And this is me passing the background color. So again, if you had an array, uh, a user object, whatever things you want to pass to this child, uh, this is where you would do it. So if I run it again, we should get the background color of yellow. And there we go. So that's the basics of using child view controllers. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I'm doing here, consider subscribing. Put out new videos all the time, and we'll see you in the next one.